Today I'm going to be looking at the text object in Max, which allows you to create and manipulate text or TXT files in your Max patch. What I have open is a brand new, almost blank Max patch here with the text object in it, and it is saved in the same folder as an existing TXT file that I uh, just made, and it has 10 computer technology based words in it, the first 10 I could think of off the top of my head. These two are saved in the same folder. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make your own TXT file in a second. So if you don't have one, don't worry about that quite yet. So text. Uh, text allows me to create and import text files. So if I lock my patch and I double click on it, what comes up is this editor. And in here, I can type in words uh, that I would like. So I guess I'm going to take a page out of Dan Schiffman here. Uh, and there's puppies, uh, rainbows, kittens, unicorns, I think. Uh, I think that was it. I'll have to link you to that, that video that Dan Schiffman did. And, okay, and I'm going to close that. And it appears that nothing has happened. If I go and I double click on this again, and it's on my other screen, I'll pull it over. Those four words that I just typed in are saved there in that text file. So we know now that this little window here exists inside this text object right now. Puppies in line one, rainbows in line two, kittens on line three, unicorns in line four. So now if I go and I ask this text object for those lines, I can get the text object to tell me, oh, well in line two, I have rainbows. So let's see how that works. Let's say a message, hey, text, line two, I'm going to send that in, and I'm just going to make a comment, leftmost outlet here into a comment, I'm going to click on it, and voila, it says rainbows. If I say line number one, I should get puppies? Puppies, okay, I did, amazing. Uh, okay, so what, this is great, this is great. We've got puppies, we've got rainbows, we've got kittens and unicorns, uh, except for one small problem. When I save my patch and I close it, all my puppies and unicorns are going to disappear because this is a temporary file. It's only existing here for the duration of this patch being open. So I'm gonna add something else. Uh, what's something else happy? Um, sunshine and get rid of that and double click again and sunshine is still there now close this whoops save save the patch close it and reopen it okay and now when I double click on this text file all of my happy words are gone so how do we save this? Well, we need a way of importing text files, or we need a way of saving this text file that we just wrote. So let me show you both of those things. So let me retype this, puppies, uh, kittens, rainbows, unicorns, sunshine, clouds, whatever. Okay, and now it's still in there, right? I mean, even if I close it, if I say line two, I get kittens. If I say line one, I get puppies. Let's zoom back in for you here. And text has this, uh, this write method. And write, if you send the text object the word write, this means, hey, let me save what I have just put in that text file. Happy words dot txt, very important, keep the extension, dot txt, I'm going to save that, and now I can see in my folder I have a new txt file with those six words that I typed into it. Okay, so again, these words are here only temporarily, and if I were to, I don't know, let's say accidentally click in here and retype it, they're gone. They're gone. Sorry, it's still on my other screen, but uh, it's not there. It's not there because every text object starts fresh 
without any data in it. So they're not gone because we already saved our text file. So how do we do that? How do we get these words back? Magically, if you type happy words.txt, the file name of that txt file as an argument for your text object, you should. Oh gosh, I hope this works. Aha! It did. You can't see it. I can. It should reference that txt file. If I change this to uh, a different, different txt file, so this one is called computer, computer.txt, I should, again, get all of that data populated in that txt file now in my text object. So line two is now syntax instead of puppies. What's important here is that this text file has to be saved in the max search path, which includes the same folder. So as long as you save your max patch file and your txt file in the same folder, max will be able to find this. And now if I save this patch and I close it and I reopen it, I kept my arguments and these words are still in here. So this is great. This allows me to share uh, my patch with other people. It allows me to have different text objects with different outputs. You know what I should do? I should just copy the whole thing. Happy words here, line two, right, line one, computer. Great. Let's zoom back in. Sorry about that. What's next? Handling temporary text files, we did that already. Creating and saving your own text files, we did that. Importing existing text files, we did that. Did we do everything? Okay, well, I still have a few minutes before I wanted to end this video, so let me add in a couple of things. Watch this. Uh, I already, I asked for line one and line two. I should probably just end this video, but I'm too excited now. Okay, puppies and kittens. Uh, what if I wanted to, to get a random happy thing? Random object is going to give me a number, right? Some sort of number. How many happy words do I have? I have six. So let's say six, okay? And random six give me a value of uh, zero, one, two, three, four, or five, as a reminder. And, uh, and I need one, two, three, four, five, or six because text wants a line number. So I'm going to add one to my random. And then I need line, a line message because text wants me to say, hey, line number such and such. Uh, new prepend. Line number, random number, what do you say? I'm going to prepend my number with line, which will take, I didn't plan this, this is so exciting, uh, which will take my random number and it'll put line in front of it and then I can just, if I'm feeling down, I can say, hey, give me a random, kittens, clouds, unicorns, kittens, sunshine, sunshine, clouds, unicorn, excellent. Um, okay, and then maybe the last thing that's important about text is that I, I, I glossed over some magic that's happening right here. I just hooked up a comment box to text, but actually text is outputting output of text, something different. It's not just like a comment. It's actually sending me a list. And that list says set kittens and set happens to be a message that comment boxes understand. Set, hey, set yourself to whatever your happy word is. So when I uh, hooked this up, it said, hey, comment box, set yourself to whatever this random happy word was. Set, sunshine, set, sunshine, kittens. Wow, we really like kittens and sunshine. Okay, there's some rainbows and some unicorn. 